What's up, King Beast Kai here coming at you with another One Piece video. Now, today is hype. Chapter 924. Ah, 924. 925. Released. Uh, Raw spoilers got released two days ago. The chapter won't officially release until the 26th. But a lot has happened in this chapter. And I am so glad, like, One Piece is still going strong after 20 years. 21 years. <clears throat> And the chapter is just, oh my goodness. Well, first, I like how we visit different locations in this chapter. It's a really unique touch. So anyway, the start of this chapter, we cut over to the where Drake and Mihawk is. And of course, you know, Perona gets the paper as she reads it. She sees M M Moria tackling at um, Honeycomb Island. Sorry, I'm getting confused with words. And so then Perona asks Mihawk if she could leave, and Mihawk cares for Perona. It may not seem like it does. And he advises her not to go at this time because there's strange stuff happening at Reverie. So after that whole scene with Mihawk and Perona, we cut over to Honeycomb Kingdom where, you know, <clears throat> Moya's taking the zombie army. He's searching for Blackbeard. And we also know that, um, Moria's um, bounty is 320 million. So, yeah. <clears throat> and we also get review of Blackbeard's bounty. But first, the two commanders. First, Shiru got Absalom's power because they're saying Absalom's dead. <sighs> R.I.P. Two, we got review of Devon's powers. Now, I'm Devin, I'm Devon. But the Devon is a female. And. And now she has, she transformed Absalom and transformed back, so she might have like a transformation fruit. It, I read a couple of sites saying that she has like the Inu Inu no Mi, if I get that correct. It's like modeled nine tail fox. Okay, this is not Naruto, but anyway, I bet it's probably some error or something. But <clears throat> uh, anyway, so. After that, <clears throat> the two commanders reveal their powers. Um, of course, Shiru slashes Midori, um, Moria in the back. Sorry, I keep confusing Moria with Midoriya. It's a tongue twister. So, Moria in the back. <clears throat> like, Moria's confused. You know, Moria cares for Absalom because he's part of his army. And I could see why Moria would care for his. For Absalom, I mean, like, Absalom would be a cool guy to have around. Devil fruit wise, but anyway. <clears throat> so then we cut over to Blackbeard. He has had all, you know, he has like a cool attire. His bounty is 2.246 billion. I think that's a little bit too low. I mean, it's not like, it's not like in the 1 billion. Like, it, it, it's up there, but it's, even I think that's a little low for even Blackbeard. And a while ago in a video, that got demonetized in Soatia, but <clears throat> I predicted Blackbeard's bounty would be 3.2 billion. I was way off. It's 2.2 billion. I mean, it's I mean, a young whose bounty should be way over 2 billion. I mean, I understand Blackbeard's new with the system, but like this guy has Whitebeard's power plus the Yami Yami no me. He goes around terrorizing people. Like, come on. <clears throat> so anyway, after all of that, the Black weird commotion. We cut over to Wano for Wano Act 2 and Yurashi shooting Marvel fight. <clears throat> it was only a little fight. Like I wish we had like a whole like whole one two panels of them just clashing it out. But we also informed that Inurashi and shooting Marvel are like on level with each other so that's a good thing. Of course Kinaimon makes it up and I don't think Shuda and Maru is still undecisive if he wants to join with the Pirate, Mink, Samurai, Ninja Alliance. That's a handful, but <clears throat> besides the point, Shuda and Maru will eventually join, or Ashura and Oji. He will eventually join. I mean, he saw how Luffy's, how Luffy just straight up attacked Kaido. Shuda and Maru has mad respect for Luffy. <clears throat> and so... Um, we also cut over to where Otama is, you know, chopped her, he tended to her wounds, so that's a good thing to know. 
and that Otama was okay and she's not dead. <clears throat> and, then, and Rizu's going to get Luffy at the Udon region in the prison, so I wonder how that will go. How we go? How we go? So what? Some well. I really don't know. I'm kind of mad that we didn't see a little interaction with Luffy and Kid. I, I'm, we'll probably get that next chapter, or so I'm, I'm hyped. So after all of that, we finally get to the Reverie. The Reverie is where the things pick up. The Revolutionary already made their attack. Rainbow and Fujitara are fighting the, I guess you could say, the commanders of the Revolutionary Army. Things are going bad over there. <clears throat> of course, Blackbeard told what Morio all of this. You know, like Luffy's fighting in Mono with Kaido. Um, you know, Revolutionary Army's fighting at the Reverie, trying to get back Kuma. So, I feel like the, like the next chapter... Like, this is really wasn't a Wano development chapter. It was like a world development tra chapter, if you know what I mean. Like, the world the world outside of Wano, where, like, Blackbeard and Shanks and Gorosei, the Reverie. Like, this was an outworld building chapter. And it sets up for so many things. Like, you know, what's going to happen to Moria? You know, did the Revolutionary Army win? Did is Rizu going to succeed in saving Luffy and possibly getting Kid on with the Alliance and having Law, Luffy, Kid, the th big three of the worst generation? A lot of questions are spurning up. Do I want to make a prediction also with this video? Uh, yeah, why not? Okay, so... I somewhat predict that, like... I don't know. Maybe... Sorry, that was an ugly yawn face, but <clears throat> next chapter will be more Reverie than Wano. Like, well, well, answers will be revealed when Wano and Reverie in the next chapter. You know, like, who's going, if Opal Mango has an assassin, who's going to assassinate him? Or is Luffy and Magellan going to tag team against that assassin? What pirate was Shanks talking about? It could have been Blackbeard. I'm thinking it's Blackbeard. I mean,. Oda has good foreshadowing as an author. It's great storytelling, so. Um. You know, it could be Luffy. You never know. But. Uh, you know, after Shanks talks to the Gorosei, hey, where is Shanks now? Is he going to. Possibly going to Wano? He's going somewhere. He might go to the Honeycomb Kingdom and just freaking fight Blackbeard. Who knows? You know, is Moria going to get killed? Is he going to join with the, um, Blackbeard? He might. I mean, like, Moria is, like, independent. You see why if Moria didn't want to join Blackbeard's crew? Because Moria is independent. <clears throat> um, you know, I, I want to see a clash between Greenbull and Greenbull Fujitora versus the Revolutionary Army. It would be really nice to see the skill set of, um, Greenbull and also see Fujitora again. Is this Ubachi or the World Lord system gonna fall? Possibly. I mean like, I'm surprised in like a few chapters ago from the very first of Reverie that you know like uh that Cobra and um Cobra and Riku didn't like wanna agree with Fujitora. I'm like, what the heck? Like, I agree 100% with Fuji, I mean, like, as for all we know, Fuji could be one of the strongest admirals in the freaking Navy right now. Like, it's, like, here are my five strongest. Garp, obviously, being number one, because Garp cannot, no one can resist the fist of love. Um, Fuji, Green Bull, uh, you know, if Sengoku was still the fleet admiral, he'll be up there, but no, he's not. Uh... He's a real, and I kind of, I kind of is up there, but he's not the strongest. Fujitora would wreck him, but besides the point, I'm just kidding. Like, it'd probably be a close match, but Fuji would win. I mean, I kind of did beat Aokiji. You gotta think Magma versus Ice, who would win there? If you really think about it. And plus, those dudes fought for ten days. <clears throat> yeah, so that's that's just another thing. I wanted to get out of the way. I'm like how I'm like discussing a whole bunch of things from the chapter and like the Navy and stuff. It's, it's just one piece. I mean, anything is possible. And I just like talking in front of a camera. I think I've been talking for like 
over about a good six minutes. <clears throat> so, here's the overall recap for next chapter. Chapter 926. We get Partials of the Reverie. One, we get to see Green Bull Fujitora versus the Revolutionary Army. Two, we might see another group, like Sabo's group, go and retrieve Kuma and get him back onto the ship so they can just get the heck out there. Um, I think that was like a distraction plan that they were planning so that they can go get Kuma. Two, we're going to see Green Bull's moveset. Three, we're going to see if Moria decides to join Blackbeard or not. Four, we're going to see if Rizu and how Rizu is going to get to the Udon region and where, like, his form of transportation, you know, what's going on in the prison with Luffy and Kid. I feel like we'll get a little bit of a panel with them interacting with each other. We should at least get that. So that would be really good, too. Um, five. Oh, I forgot the calamities. King the Plaque and Queen... Wait, no. King the Fire and Queen the Plaque. Both of them are dudes. It's no confusion. So I like King, but I don't... I'm iffy with Queen's design. I, I like King's design. You know, it's cool. It's cool that we got revealed to the other calamities. So there is three calamities. This, meaning there's only three regions of Wano because Jack com commands the Curry region so there's only the Udon region and some other region we don't know so it this all chapter always helped me with my theory of the Udon region so the calamity of the Udon region has to be king or queen and now the um uh, the headliners like I said were Apu X Drake and um Killer so that might be them in the Udon region, like, that, that would be really cool. By the way, the Udon region is like a prisonment-like island. We got introduced back um, in the previous chapter. You know, I wanted to build off this on 926, you know. I would have set up a lot of stuff for the next couple of chapters. And One Piece is just clicking with information. Like, it is, like, really fast-paced at this point. Like, I'm just really surprised how fast Wano is going, like, we're still not 20 chapters in, that's the scary part, we're still not 20 chapters in, and look how much farther we've gotten to the story, like, if you really think about it, honestly, like, this is not One Piece pace, this is like freaking, like, Dragon Ball paced right now, you know, I read the manga for Dragon Ball, it is really, really quick, like, honestly, like, the transition from the Sand Saga to the Frieza Saga is beyond me. <clears throat> just getting that out of the way. Uh, I'm sorry to talk about Dragon Ball in a One Piece video. You know, I'm a One Piece fanboy. Just bear with me. <clears throat> anyway, so back to One Piece. So, yeah. I reviewed what was going to happen in the next chapter. And I feel like that's pretty much it for this video. Anything else I want to talk about? No, I can't upload stuff, you know. I'm going to upload. My goal in the next couple of days is to upload four to five videos so I can start rebuilding my YouTube channel. You know, I want to start getting back up there. I only have 12. I used to have 120 subscribers. I know it. I'm still bashing so way short for that. You know, I had such a... I, I had such a good thing going with my YouTube channel. I was booming, I was making subscribers, I was getting views. Like, I was doing everything until freaking they screwed it up. Just wanted to clarify that. So I'm still bashing Sueishua. But you gotta think, I ain't showing copyright content if you really do think about it. It's just me talking in front of the camera. I'm not showing no copyright content. I'm, I'm not showing no panels. I'm not showing no nothing. On one of my um, review videos, I had the phone, I was reading off of it. I went to flip it, and the panel was going to be reviewed, but I put a sticker there, so screw you. Sueishua can't get me with that. <clears throat> now, I love Sueishua, but, like, I'm still I'm still kind of mad with what they did to me, you know. But, uh, I'm over it now, kind of. Now I got a new YouTube channel. I'm funding a new foundation. So that's all about for this video. Let me know what you thought of it. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, the dislike button. Hopefully you liked it. And I'll hit the subscribe button for more content like this. And smash that gray bell. You better hit it. You can be excited, guys.